Usually, when hand placing components on a PCB, we'll use a pair of tweezers, and tweezers are a pretty good tool for that most of the time, unless the component is too large, too heavy, or just oddly shaped and difficult to grasp, in which case we'll use something called a vacuum pen. Now, you can certainly go buy a vacuum pen, but you may have the parts on hand already to build your own. Let me show you. If you can get your hands on a disposable syringe and any compression type spring that will fit inside the barrel of that syringe, you have all of the parts to make a DIY vacuum pen. In my case, it's a 10 milliliter syringe and the spring off of some RC car shocks. Simply place the spring inside the barrel and then replace your plunger. Now, any time that you depress the plunger, the spring will attempt to return it, and this creates a vacuum inside the barrel of the syringe that you can use to pick up and place small parts. Now, you can certainly put any large bore flat needle on the end of your syringe and attempt to pick up parts with that, but it can be difficult to form a seal against the part that makes it very effective. This is why needles made for this purpose have a small suction cup on the end to create a seal. If, however, you bought an assortment of syringes and needles that came with these rubber needle caps, you can simply place one of these rubber needle protectors onto your large bore needle, and then cut the closed end off with a pair of scissors to create a small rubber end that creates a better seal against parts and makes it possible to pick them up with your DIY pen. Bonus points if you can get your hands on these actual suction cup tips, in which case this actually becomes a very powerful tool able to pick up very heavy and awkward parts and hold them for an extended amount of time.